Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm John and this is Simple Man's Barbecue. Today we're doing an unboxing and review of operations on a Cabela's 12 inch food slicer. So these were the only loose parts in the box. Looks like a blade sharpener, some hardware, and another guard. Um, I read the directions and it said for cleaning the unit, once you're done slicing, you have to take out these two Phillips screws or loosen them, and then this will just slide down and pop off. Uh, then you're able to get behind the blade here. And then you turn this knob counterclockwise and then that will remove this piece right here and this will pop right off then you'll be able to get direct access to the blade well this feature is pretty cool so like i said the loose parts we have the blade sharpener right here and you'll notice there's two little nubs on it and they actually click in right here in these holes and then to sharpen your blade all you do is turn that that knob that controls the thickness of your cut and this plate here moves back and the blade will then become in contact with the sharpening stone there. Now this second piece is called the food carriage guard and it bolts on right here. All right, let's test out this cover that came with it. Not bad, I guess. All right, let's plug this in and start slicing some meat, see how it operates. Give this a quick wipe down. So the depth here ranges from P, which we're at right now, all the way to 25. That 25, at 25, we're at about an inch. That's, that's pretty thick. I'm gonna start out on three and a half. We'll see if that's a, a good consistency for my bacon. All right, I already cut some up because I was hungry. Wow, usually I have to cut these in half to make them fit on my buddy's slicer, but this looks just about perfect. Well, let's give it a shot. We're at 3.5 on the knob. So I gotta hold this better. All right, I gotta secure this table down. You put these locks on the wheels. Oh, wow. That's some nice, nice looking bacon there. Actually, I think I, I wanna go a little thinner. 
try some more. Well, it's working much better now since the table's locked down. And I gotta say, I really do like the handle back here. Let's try going a little thinner. So we're gonna go to 1.5. That's pretty thin, but we'll see how it turns out. Ooh, that looks pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna cut the rest of mine at 1.5. That seems like Seems like money for sure. All right. I'm sure once I get a little more comfortable with this, I'll be able to go a lot faster. I can't believe how quiet this thing is. This is nuts. Beautiful. I guess one of the downsides is you have to, you know, go to the back to get it instead of being able to just reach right here like other slicers and, you know, put it away. But I don't mind that. I said before this was a splash guard, but I mean, it's actually for, for the meats, you can do even bigger cuts. You can see I'm, I'm overlapping a little here, so I can just bend this over and use this guard here to cut a larger piece of meat. Pretty sweet. All right. We finished, and boy oh boy, did we make a mess. We got bacon everywhere, all up in this thing. Even down in here somehow. Overall, uh, I'm very happy with this product. Um, I'm definitely gonna get a foot switch to control the on and the off. It'll be a lot easier. Um, I did notice after about 100, 120 slices, this, this moves a little bit. So I'll set it at 1.5, then after about 100 slices, it'll be over a little bit like that. Uh, so not the biggest deal. Um, the, the one other downside is that, you know, you can only slice so much before you need to Turn it off, come back here, and uh, grab your meat out. Otherwise, it gets caught up in this blade, and it doesn't bog anything down, but what happens is it gets just sucked back up there, and then the meat comes to the front here, and it goes flinging out that way. But other than that, uh, we just sliced about 40, 42 pounds of bacon, so and it, it all looks beautiful. Didn't have any issues, and I really recommend this product. I'm very happy with it. Well, now I guess it's time we try to clean this thing. <laughs> um, it did say do not put any of this stuff in the dishwasher. Uh, it said you can, you know, wash it by hand. Um, but now I'm gonna rip this thing apart and try cleaning it out here. Let's see how easy this is.
Overall, I'm very impressed with this meat slicer. Uh, I'm glad I went with the 12 inch that I had no problem slicing a full slab of a pork belly. Uh, I'm excited to continue using this in the future. And uh, I mean, cleaning was kind of a pain, uh, but so is every meat slicer. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.